Hello, how are you doing today? My name is Christian Lopez and in this video I'm going to show you how to add more definition and depth to your image by using the Dutch Invert tool. The first question that we have to ask ourselves is what does the Dutch Invert tool do? It is pretty simple, it's pretty basic. All they do is to manipulate the uh, exposures in selected areas. For example, if you want to lighten so highlights you're gonna to have to use the Dutch tool and if you want to darken the shadows you want to use the burn tool right for example if you want to darken hair you may want to use the burn tool the keyboard shortcut for the Dutch and burn tool are O so if you press O it is going to take you to the Dutch and burn tool you can toggle between uh, the two by pressing shift and O and that is a pretty handy you know a uh, shortcut because sometimes you are working on certain areas and you don't really want to come down here and press you know a right click and then select the burn tool and they go back to the place where you're working at so what you want to do you just want to press control I mean shift O and it is going to toggle uh, between the two so I'm going to take you to the image that we have been working on in the first two episodes we worked on uh, skin tone and we also did some uh, skin smoothing I'm going to the first thing that I'm going to do right now I'm going to stamp all the effect and I'm going to put all these effects in one layer so you can see the before and after so we can do that by pressing alt control shift E and that is going to stamp all the effects so now we're going to disable all of this okay so you can see the before and after so we started right here and we right here so it is pretty nice it's pretty good you know uh, this is actually like a grayscale image and the tools these tools like the Dutch and burn tool were best on grayscale images or you can also say desaturated you know uh, and so we're gonna start doing our retouching right now so I'm gonna go and press O and I want to work start working with the uh, Dutch tool and I'm going to uh, erase this we don't need it anymore I'm going to press uh, control shift N to create a new layer we're gonna name that layer Dutch and burn skin I don't know for some reason I just like to name my layers we're gonna press OK you can also create another layer by you know clicking uh, you know going to layer and then new and then layer and it tells you you know the shortcut that you need to create a new layer so you don't really have to come up here and create one you can just you know press shift control and create and create a new layer now we're gonna fill that layer with 50 percent gray and I'm going to show you why I'm using this this is a non-destructive way to do it we're gonna come down here to the uh, blend modes and we're going to change the uh, blend mode to soft white we are going to get closer to our image because we want to we're going to do some work on it uh, I'm going to set the exposure to about 10 percent because you don't really want to uh, overdo this you know max would be like a 20 25 percent but 10 percent is going to work just fine uh, we're going to set uh, the range to mid tones because we're going to be working on mid tones only okay okay so if you set you know the range uh, to shadows only the uh, darkened, uh, darkest areas of an image are going to be affected and if you set it to highlights only the uh, lightest uh, areas are going to be affected but we want to work on the uh, mid-tone so we're gonna set the uh, the range to mid-tone so we're gonna get closer to our image and we're gonna start working on shadows as you can see there's some shadows right here but I want the shadows to be more defined so I want to use the Dutch tool. No, I'm going to use the burn tool for this one. So we're gonna change. Uh, we're gonna go to burn. If you wanna increase the size of your brush, all you have to do is press the bracket key, left bracket key if you want to increase, decrease, and right bracket key if you wanna increase the size. You know, uh, the bracket keys are uh, next to the uh, P on your keyboard so we want we want to darken this part right here of the face we're gonna darken this part and we also gonna darken this we're gonna all we're doing right here is adding more definition 
to the image we're gonna darken these areas right here and I also want to darken around the nose we're gonna make it make it look more realistic all right there we go and I'm gonna come down here I'm gonna come down here and darken the eyebrows there we go now I'm gonna switch to the Dutch tool and I'm going to enhance the forehead I'm going to lighten the forehead some of the nose right here maybe under the lips perhaps and I also want to remove the dark shadows under her eyes we're gonna do that right there I think that's pretty good you may not see the difference right now but once I disable the uh, this layer you will see that's before that's the after as you can see okay let me take it closer to it this is the before and this is the after before and after before and after okay I think we need to do some more work let's see no that's okay so now we're going what we're going to do right now we, we are going to disable all of this and I want this layer to visible to be visible so as you can see this is all we did to the image right here so now I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna set the black to 50% for example I think this is hue saturation uh, black red green and blue so if we set this to 50% it is going to give us you know the same color that we're working on which is 50% gray now I'm gonna go and press B for our brush and we're gonna bring the opacity to 50% and because I want this effect to blend better on the picture I'm just going to paint I'm going to paint and decrease the effect of it we're gonna do up there to the eyebrows and as you can see it is blending a lot better okay there we go let's see if I do it again we're actually getting rid of it I don't really want to do that let me de decrease this uh, the opacity of my brush I'm gonna go to maybe uh, let's see 30 percent all right I'm gonna paint there all right that's all we need to do now we go we are gonna uh, enable our layers and see the before and after there we go that's before that's the after as you can see we went from a uh, we did a very subtle you know uh, effect we don't really want to overdo this because it won't look right so that's the before that's the after it adds a lot of definition to your image uh, if you want to try this technique go ahead and do it uh, you know it's pretty nice it's pretty good okay guys that's all I got for you today in the next uh, video I'm going to show you how to add hair lice you know I'm going to show you how to add hair lice and, uh, and we're gonna enhance the makeup and that's all I got for you and thanks for watching see you next time